Uh, it's a good thing, you know, Daniel mentioned that you can't take it with you. So we're going to go into the cremation or burial. Um, I don't know. We was talking about some, oh, when Ken had came on that night, we was talking about um like the participation trophies and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was talking about a scenario about, you know, the married guy, he's still legally married, but um, got a girlfriend and a family member passed. Should he take her to the, the funeral? So we started talking about burial and cremation. And we uh, Courtney was supposed to be up here for this one. So I didn't know she's getting off early tonight, you guys. Okay, so have you thought about that? Like the burial or the cremation? Yeah, I actually started thinking about it like more like over, I'd say like over the past like two years or so. Like I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, do I really want like a... Uh, a funeral and a burial or do I just want to be cremated like well you can like still it's... have like the the people gather yeah you're gonna get like because you can still because I was my mom wanted to be cremated but I disrespect her wishes and so when they was doing the uh the cremation process it was like you can still come, still, still come see them because most of the time with cremation they just have like a big blow-up picture of the person they don't actually mm-hmm. have the body there you know right yeah um but you can still do it you do it any way you want to but it's just ain't no uh at the barrier grounds it's just they bring you the ashes and then, you know you can yeah, still have right. the body there in the service and stuff but after that ain't no going to the barrier grounds it's just yeah, go back I to don't the house think I'm like as opposed to it as maybe I like may have been before like I'm not super opposed to it like I'm actually like thinking more about it not that I can say for a, a like definitely like okay I want to be cremated but like now I'm starting to like think about it more like do I like I mean do I need to be buried like I don't know what they see this is my thing and people was looking at me weird but I said I said that I have wanted to be cremated and the reason why was because I said that people don't go to burial grounds like that no more like young people like us I don't think we go to burial grounds I think it's the older people that go like put flowers or you know um when they come home like the only time people really go to burial grounds is like if they you know and people don't stay in their hometown anymore they move go with their husband or their wife and out of state and stuff like that and I was like I don't I just rather be cremated put me in some jewelry like put my picture in a locket on one side and my ashes on the other and then I'm there. I'm with you all the time. You don't have to come all the way back to Marion to the, the visit or put flowers on my grave, you know? So that's how I was looking at it. Um, okay, not not looking at the price of it, but, you know, just looking at, like, being there, per se. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I just think it... At, I I know everybody has their, uh, their wishes, their last wishes and things of that nature. Um, for me... It's more so, it just depends on what my family has, whether they can afford it or not. Some people die without life insurance, things of that nature. Um, You know, it's obviously cheaper to cremate rather than a burial. So it's like, if, if we can afford it, you know, I would say on my will, like, you can afford it? Yeah, go ahead. But it's, I can't really, I can't really say what I'd rather have because I'm no longer here. Well, hold, like, like, that's, that's <laughs> the thing though. Like you said what they can afford. It's on you. Like right now, I'm yeah. pretty sure your mom has a policy on you. That's probably already done paid up possibly depending on when she got it for you. Mm-hmm. But having life insurance is on you. Like you're supposed right. to, um, right. that, that, so you can write out, like, I just learned that you can go ahead and go, to the local um funeral places around here and go ahead and pre-do your things because i that's what i'm struggling with. i'm like do i still want to be cremated or do i want to be buried like and then you can make payment plans on it so as far as like go for me or whatever funds available you can like go tomorrow or we'll schedule an appointment starting monday or whenever and plan your whole funeral while you're here yeah. now i didn't know that yeah, yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. I just found it out like a couple months ago. Like you can go and do that and then start making. So if you don't have life insurance, uh, you can go ahead and start making payments on it, like $50 a month, you know? See, I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that at all. So I was going based you, off of like an untimed, like 
Uh, an untimely, yeah, yeah no. like untimely death or something like that. And I just, you know, it's to the point where even if I had life insurance, that's my thing. Like, even if I had life insurance, say I had like a hundred thousand dollar policy or whatever, like if you want to use that, you know, or how about I make y'all lives more comfortable? But just your funeral take- wouldn't be that that like funeral. I know like, it wouldn't. I know it wouldn't. I'm just talking about period. I mean, the, yeah, you get a I, nice I, I pine box. That's still three thousand dollars for a coffin. Listen, you know I will get on this podcast and blast whoever it is, Daniel. Who you talk? If that man had a hundred thousand dollars and y'all can't spend fifteen to send him, I, I, ooh, I'll be so. <laughs> I mean, mad. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying. I I just. I mean, diff- I guess I'm indifferent about it is what I'm saying. Like, And that's why we're having this conversation. As young as yeah. we are, we're having these conversations because people are due to COVID. People were passing and didn't have getting up policies out of there, yeah. and stuff. And then uh, people did pass and that did have policies and people were spending the money however they choose to. But this is a, a conversation that we're having publicly that you can plan your funeral how you want it before you pass. Like, you don't have to leave it in the hands of other people. You yeah. can say you want this, 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 this. You know, and then when your family member come in, oh, it's this is it's it's all right. He done had it. We got to go by, you know. He didn't already pay for it, right? Or either in the in the process of paying for it, you know. And if they ain't got no uh, what power of attorney or uh, the executive of your estate, they can't make no changes like that. No whatsoever. Definitely. Okay. But I think these conversations need to be had more, um, because people are passing due to like gun violence. Or you know, um, these conversations need to be had. In positive... Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, there ain't no telling what kind of virus gonna come next. You might have the the roach virus taking everybody out. <laughs> you just never know these days. Ain't ain't no lying. Lying. But so, final thoughts. I I say I'm more on the cremation. I'm I'm I'm. 30% cremation, 70% burial. So, Daniel, you're like, whatever is that? Wh- whoever planted it at the time, that's whatever you're going with. Yeah, he ain't got no say. I mean, I ain't got, that's, that's what, I guess that's what my point is. Like, it's not like I can be like, I ain't like it. You can feel, you can feel <laughs> look, you did Looking down it. from heaven, like, nope, I wanted a blue coffin. Yeah. Like, Ashley said, well, I mean, that was, it wasn't planned, but kind of like how you were saying with your mom, like, you disregarded her wishes. She wanted to be cremated, and you gave her a barrier, like, stuff like that. Like, I guess that's more so what Daniel's saying. Like, you really don't really have a say-say. Like, you can plan something out to tell people this is what I want. But at the end of the day, the person getting that money and the beneficiary, they can do what they want to do and put you what they want you to do. And it's but see, that's the thing. Like she didn't you know have it written. She didn't have it written that this, this, this what it was. Like that was more conversations. Like when we would just yeah. talk, like not like a sit down. Like so, mom, what would you? It wasn't. It was just like jokingly because right. I didn't yeah. like her. I didn't like her smoking. So I was like, all right, now you ask them beat you good. And she was like, well, you know what to do with me. I like these cigarettes. Light my ass up like a cigarette. So she would joke yeah. like that, you know. Right, and right. so when it unfortunately, like she said, unfortunate circumstances, she passed. And then I was like, oh, my God. Like, and so jokingly, I was like, light her ass up. And everybody started laughing, yeah. you know. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Because in the Black family, we're not, we don't burn people. We don't, we yeah. don't do that, you know. But uh, because I told her joke not when she was alive, I said, um, I'm gonna cremate you and I'm gonna sprinkle you at the Newport factory in Shane's Rib Shack because she the loved Newport it. factory. She loved Newport, you know, black people smoke Newport. You know? <laughs> Let me get but, them hoax hunnets in the box. But oh, I God. um but but Daniel to go with what you're saying, people whoever's doing it that's close to you that's planning your funeral, which it has to be either like your mom or your wife or you know somebody that's like they're gonna know what i like anyway yeah they know exactly they know what you like so i knew even though we didn't have the conversation of burial it was always a cremation i knew she was a black and gold person so got the gold vault got the black and gold cats got black and you know i knew what she liked so that's what it is so but the conversation still need to be had so but when you're you're on the fence of both or you leave leaning more towards um your family probably would what did your plan family would say they'd be like what we're gonna bury you for me yeah um, they're not gonna go would they go with the cremation or they're like nah we're not doing that in this thing um 
I feel like they would go with it. I mean, more. I mean, I ain't mad right now, but like, I feel like my sister. If I if I tell her like the stuff that I want to make happen, like I feel like she would. Because I guess that's a difference, like when you're single versus when you are you have, have a family. A, yeah a, a family and a spouse. Because I feel like if you have a spouse, like they're gonna go. They know what your last wishes or what your wishes would be as it pertains to like their burial or cremation or whatever the case may be but if it's just like you're single and it's left up to whoever if you have a beneficiary or you just left up the people who are close to you they're gonna do what they want to do like right. they're not gonna you know live up to your wishes so i'm just open to it like i'm not like crossing cremation out and i'm not saying oh yes definitely yeah, i'm not thinking about cremation just bear me but i'm just open to it like i'm i'm thinking about it i'm the same way yeah okay well i got a plan um uh one of my uncles uh thing he ain't passed yet but you know i just want to go ahead and have the shit laid out because when he do pass i don't want to be i can't i can't cry and, and plan a funeral at the same time you know so yeah i'm about to, I'm about to make my appointment and be like let me come plan his his stuff so i can know how much money i need to have set to the side you know whatever but uh mm -hmm. but yeah so that's the end of this podcast thank you for everybody that's gonna watch in um and the playback uh Daniel, do you have any uh can you tell them where to follow you at because you got on a little late and then do you have anything coming up that you know? Um you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I underscore am underscore rhythm. Rhythm is spelled R H Y T H Y M. Um I don't really have nothing going on at the moment. Just like I said last week, just working on the album. Um and doing some script writing, but other than that, I don't really have too much. Going album, on. See, I've been missing. I did not know Daniel was working on a whole album. We did, we, should, we found that out last week too. Oh, okay. And we was like, we want um, you know, I think Courtney was like, she's getting her vocals right. And I, was, <laughs> I was just like, I just want to be in a sketch, like you know, some comedy type stuff. Like we're yeah, supposed to do that anyway. Like we're <sighs> supposed to do that anyway. I know, right. I can literally, I, mean, I can write gold for TikTok. you. Right now. I've been thinking about getting TikTok. Like, oh my God, you, you, my blow you can do so much up. good stuff on there, especially with your been, food. Like, you're going to have people hooked on TikTok. You will blow I've been thinking up, about it. I'm telling you. That, that, um, that, um, the Chinese restaurant at the mall went viral, not once, not twice, but three times, three separate accounts, just for putting a lot of food in the um box. Literally, that's it. I like that sweet and sour chicken and that bourbon chicken. Let's not talk about it because I you're gonna make me go there on my lunch break tomorrow. I ain't had <laughs> I, I'm, about, I'm about to be like, what I got to do tomorrow? I think ooh, it's a couple restaurants. You let me know if you if you go on the Florence and hitting there, I'll cash it. Well, sure. I think I'm cooking on the grill tomorrow. I, I marinated some ribs and some turkey wings. So if the weather is good, I'm grill cooking. cooking for yourself or are you cooking cooking? No, for myself. Look, no, I don't know, DeAndrea. I don't know. Well, I'm playing for a plate. That's all I got to say. <laughs> well, I'll let you know if it if it if the weather is good. Then I'll. If not, then I just wait until Tuesday, or whatever. But if not, you can just put it in the oven, and I'll still pay for a plate. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want oven. I want the charcoal. It's definitely a foodie. Like he ain't cooking. I want char. I want that charcoal. Hey, no excuse. I want that smokiness. I'm but, gonna send you right, this you guys, video. There's a dude that um that gets the smoky taste. He got like the wood chips mm -hmm. in the oven. I got you. You don't <laughs> need the grill. It's 2021. All right, Jesus. Well, all right, y'all. Uh, y'all have a good night. Um, appreciate y'all for coming on this week. Uh, you got any suggestions or any topics that y'all see throughout the week? Inbox and tell me. But I'll see y'all next Sunday for episode 14. 45. Bye, you guys.